Cordal Prime presents Transformers, Hunt for the Decepticons, Night Ops, Ratchet. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, Cordal Prime, haven't you already done this guy before? Well, I have. But the thing is, I didn't like my first take on this guy. So I just thought I'd redo it. Now, Ratchet, according to the Transformers Wiki, Ratchet, the Autobots medic, is probably the bravest of them all. He'll risk his life to pull any wounded comrade from the battlefield. Indeed, he did not join Optimus Prime's team to be a soldier. Rather, he's there to save lives, and thinks that Prime is the best chance he, the universe has for peace. A medic who dislikes violence, Ratchet's well-armed appearance is more due to being an improviser with surgical tools, such as his buzz saw, which I will get into with the toy, which he discovered he had a pension for due to, to his early experiences. As a tool and die maker, when combat is unavoidable, he can employ these makeshift weapons with surprising agility for his size. He has a close comrade in RC, and they both share a common enemy in lockdown. There's also a quote here from um, one of the comics. It says, I can't save them all. I learned that truism a long time ago. On countless battlefields, but still, no matter how many I help, a hundred, a thousand, it's the ones that I fail that haunt me. So, very powerful stuff. So, that's basically Ratchet's character bio in a nutshell. So, here's his um, toy. This is, of course, from the Hunt for the Decepticons line and is a repaint of the 2007 movie, Ratchet. Of course, there was no Revenge of the Fallen one, but, yeah, if you count the uh, Deluxe Nest one, then, yeah, there was, but no Voyager. Nice-looking vehicle mode. It is, of course, black, which is my favorite color, by the way. And this nice little pulse thing on the side, along with um, Rescue right there. And if you look here in the window, you can actually see one of those um, pulse things molded in. I like that. I like when they work in little details like that. I think it's cool. You also have the molded windshield wipers. And, of course, this little um, eye trick here with the sirens. They look like they're there, but really, they're part of this, as you can see. So they hang over there, and they look like the sirens are on. Now, in terms of a size comparison, here he is with Ironhide. Now, I'm not really sure what the scale is for the Hummer H2 and whatever pickup he is. I'm not sure. I don't know the actual scale, but yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but Ratchet is a little bit shorter, or wait, are they? Now, they're about the same length, but Ratchet's a little bit taller than Ironhide. In terms of his robot junk, you've got his head visible right here, his arms right there, his copies visible, his other finger, right around here, and his entire back piece is his legs, but you can't really tell that, which I really do like. That's really it on the vehicle mode, I mean, it rolls. So I might as well transform him. First you want to remove the um, cage, I'll call it, from the top, set it off to the side. Now, these side sections here, you want to disconnect them and pull them out. As I showed in my original review. Take the uh, roof here and you fold it forward. Now, you're going to want to part this back section completely. Bring them up like this, for now. Actually, no, we'll get to the legs here. Folds the legs down so that this um this thing here, which will be his crotch piece, is folded forward. When you're bringing him back to vehicle mode, this is a flat surface. It has to be on top in order for it to be flush. So make sure this is on the this is facing upward when you're transforming him to vehicle mode, and make sure his legs have this thing face facing forward when he's going to robot. Now he has this really cool automorph gimmick where if you Fold down his foot, this side piece here will come out and his knee will come out. I'll try to show this as best as I can. Keep your eyes here and here. There you go. Now it gives you enough clearance to fold the foot up, well, the leg. Rotate it though with the knee so now it's facing the right way. Do that over here. <laughs> And now his legs are done, and as you can see, he's a big dude. He's a big guy. Really, really big guy. Now, you want to take the roof section. You've got the windshield, 
you want to fold that both halves, you want to fold them back like this. Now, I gotta show this here, but I don't know it'll I don't know how well it'll come up. Here on his butt, he has this peg right here and a little, a little hole here. Up here, he's got a hole right there, and I don't know if it'll really come up well, but he's got a peg. I think, yeah, you can see it a little bit right about there. There it is. You want to make sure that both those pegs and holes connect. You want to do the top one first. It'll provide much more clearance for the bottom section. And there you go. Now you got this done. Take his arms and rotate and rotate them like this. Fold these back sections here all the way back. Rotate his arm, fold it down. Rotate his arm, fold it down. Lastly, take this piece here, flip it up. There you go, and fold it back. And here's Ratchet in his robot mode. I'll try to angle up a little bit, but okay, there you go. That's about as much as far as I can go without showing my face. Yeah, I want to remain nameless and faceless here. Yeah. Now, in terms of a robot mode comparison, here he is with C Sprite. So you can see how these two stack up. Yeah, he's a little bit taller. Just a little bit. Just a little teeny, teeny little bit. Just really minor, you can barely tell. Get rid of him. Now, in terms of his articulation, the head will rotate. It could go all the way around, but this um, piece back here kind of hinders that. Arms rotate all the way around. They go in and out. Rotate to the elbow, bends at the elbow. There's nothing at the waist due to the transformation, but the legs will go forward, they will go back, they will go in and out, but the wheel kind of hinders it, so you only get about that much movement. Knee bends, knee rotates, foot pivots just a little bit. That's his articulation, it's pretty cool, I like it. His accessories include this cage that has these um, three pegs on it that do peg onto the top of his vehicle mode. Now, this does become, I guess you could say, a weapon or a surgical tool. Part of this piece up here, this little green switch, push it forward, and. Wow! So epic. The epicness is so amazing. Now, I believe I said this in my original. If I was a Decepticon and I seen this coming at me, I would probably pee my pants and run if robots can pee their pants. They don't even wear pants. Whatever. <laughs> you do, of course, have this big old peg here. This uh, little hole right here. And they will connect. And do expect that waist piece to disconnect. Um, on mine, it is very loose and it's hard to uh, keep together if you're going to be moving them around a lot. So now you have that. He just looks so epic with that, doesn't he? Now, his other accessory is, if you can see, I'll remove this, that this arm has the black has the regular gray but this arm has this black piece that's because what you want to do is this little painted silver piece flip that up like so you fold back that black piece and fold in the hand close the um, panel and fold open this thing now in when I was giving his bio it said his buzz saw is any any of you that out there does that look like a buzz saw to you? Do you really think that looks like a buzz saw? Doesn't look like one to me. Really doesn't. It just really doesn't. It looks more like a butterfly axe. So I guess he uses this, I don't know, to amputate an Autobot's limbs, like... Legs to damage, we'll have to amputate. No! Oh! It was my arm that was broken! Whoops. That was a completely failed attempt. Okay, so that's really it on Ratchet. I honestly would pick this toy up. 
I got him for 30 bucks at Walmart. I do recommend him. He's a great looking toy. And if you're like me and you missed out on the original 07 movie mold, this is a great second chance to get it. It's a nice mold. I like it. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. So long, everybody. This has been Cordell Prime.